Today I will show you how to achieve street photography step by step. Come and join me on my day of photography. Let's go. Okay. So I was walking and I saw this tree and I liked it so uh, then I looked around more and looked a bit further to the right and there is this this boat standing there I said oh this is nice so uh, when I looked at it I said uh, this would be good for for a black and white and I did that so uh, you can see the board is just uh, it's been left there for some time and uh, so I said mm, so I, I, I like the the atmosphere where the board was and how it's left and uh, there's a robs there inside the uh, the board but it's it's a good shot so there I took a shot of it I walked after that there was not really much of it so I kind of left the park and walking around to the streets and there is I could see there is something waiting for me so I start doing my uh, street photography so I changed from landscape to street photography in the same day so I like that as well so there is a, I looked and there is I see there's a uh, delivery guy motorbike so I looked at him I oh yes uh, I could not resist so I am the camera I took a photo of it and that was good but then I start following him when I followed him oh he stopped so when he was looking at the address whatever the envelope you were over the box he was looking at and I said oh okay so I took another shot and took another shot as well so I, I still waiting now I start having uh, kind of a film doing of the, the commenting uh, every stop this guy is doing his position and what he's doing so I, I stopped and I kept looking at him uh, watching him what he is doing and then I could see he now he wants to move out so I took another photo of him he's kind of wants to move out and then I took the third shot I, uh, again he was going away so I, that was a beautiful of uh, four photos of the delivery guy what he is doing and that was just breathtaking for me that was the sequences of the commenting of the, the the and stopping the moments and the seconds and what I see at that moment so it was just perfect for me that is the street photography what you're looking for to stop the moment I just don't go uh, take the photos of anything when I do street photography I want to look at the person I want I want to look at the lighting I want to look at everything but that have to be in taking uh, and make a decision in seconds what you're gonna do with the photo how you're gonna take it I don't look I, I, first thing I look at the lighting I look at the the position I'm in and so on and but and my camera it's on out of focus and all but but sometimes it doesn't matter how fast it is sometimes you don't get the hundred uh, percent out of focus but still I take the photo I don't wanna I do not want to miss that shot it's okay so what I do is I take say I, I put it on a high speed when I take my photos and high speed shutters high shutter speed so what I do is and then I, I take four five ten photos at the same time so one of them definitely it will be a focused uh, photo so that is that's how I do not miss a photographs when I take it and they always 
B sharp. One of them will be sharp 100%. So that is the trick of taking photos and making sure one of them will be uh, focus so I will put it on a high uh, uh, taking photos and that's what I do so next one I uh, kept walking after that and that's what I found so there I turn around I walked around and I see this man uh, sitting there uh, standing there and looks like he's waiting for someone so I aimed my camera at him I always make sure I tell people what I'm doing I do not sneak behind them if somebody says no I do not uh, take a photo of them because I even so I'm in a public place but I don't want to invent, in, invade their privacy so I make sure you always uh, let people take notice of you or even so you're taking a photo but if you if they notice you do not ignore them say thank you do something to acknowledge yes you took a photo of them and if they like it all right if they don't they would tell you and it happened a couple of times to me and i deleted the photo straight away so i, I respect the person even they didn't ask me to delete it but they said no so i delete just in case one day if it get published and they didn't give me the consent they won't find me or they find me whatsoever but it's not the right thing to do and uh, then so I took a shot of that guy and was uh, uh, it, it was nice to look and I made a story of it in my head it doesn't matter so I, I took the shot of him and uh, made the story of my head he's waiting for someone he's looking for something and that is where you find the street photography it's so uh it's so it's so powerful there i looked around again and there's i see the dog walking towards me in the middle of the street like you know this is uh, these uh, western movies when they you should see them the the uh the, the hero of the movie and uh so he walks around in the street so anyway i, I took the photo of the talk and i stood there for a couple of say uh, less than a minute and i'm looking where the dog is going but then he i i, I knew there's a car uh, next to, uh, there's a car on my left hand side but I didn't see there is a dog underneath the car I then I realized when the, the door came back uh, I realized there is a dog underneath the car and he goes and goes next uh, is sitting next to the uh, next to the car and was just amusing of how you can find your group or your friend to go and sit next to them uh, just to keep a company so even so we as a human we need to keep a company these animals need to keep a company even if they are a stray dog there you can find them they go in a group and that's what you're looking for even the dogs have their own story when we take photos I know I'm in street photography and street photography it's everything you can take dogs animals you can do even architect to see what is the building looks like the environment you are in and when you are in Thailand something uh, I like to tell you Thai people they don't mind them to take photos of them so they don't mind and I think they like it or whatsoever but do not be shy to take a photo of a Thai person because they always inviting you they always smile towards you so it's a good thing and that's what I love about Thailand there I, I looked at one of the walls there's fish these they actually they drive these dry these this fish to uh, for cooking and I don't know they leave it there for a week or two and I just I looked at it, I said this is a nice thing it's real artistic real cinematic uh, it's like an artwork on the wall 
so I could not resist. So I positioned myself in a way, it wasn't that easy, but I did position my way to make sure I got on, like uh, on the left hand side of the fish. I didn't want to get that straight, uh, direct aim at the fish, but I wanted to be sideways, and that's how I did it. And I, I was wide in the first position. So he, he just, uh, I, I love this photo so much. And uh, so, he, uh, I, I don't know, it just, I kept lo keep looking at it. It is so nice. It's like uh, a, a, a photo. If I make this one to, as an artwork, to put it on the wall, so he, it's wall on the wall and that's in the wall. So it's just, uh, that, I don't know, I just feel something towards that. And the, the, this photo here, I, uh, I took it, it's, it's kind of a mystery for me was, because she's doing something, but I really don't know what she's doing, and you don't know what she's doing. So I said, oh, this is what, I like a mystery in my work, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. So it's kind of you making your own story with it and that's what I liked about it. So I, uh, I took a photo, I don't know, she was cleaning something, she was cutting something, I am not sure, but I took it as, and I, that's what I wanted from that. Close to that area, I looked at this woman, she's, she's looking at me behind the bars, uh, the, it's a window, and um, I said, ah, oh, this is beautiful. So I took a couple of shots of her and she smiled and she actually came to look at the photo that I took. And that is something magical, communication between people. And this is what you're looking for, to communicate with people and what you want to do with it. It just kind of looking at me, staring at me, but was a nice photo, I liked it, but from start uh, I said this shot will be a nice cinematic photo, looking at somebody, and he was looking at me, and it's, I nailed it, I think, it was beautiful, I, I, I personally love it. I saw these two guys sitting on the front porch uh, and they they uh, talking and so on so I looked at it and said that would be a nice black and white image so I did that and yes but then I, uh, I kept looking at them kind of walking very slow but looking at them they acknowledged me they knew I was there so I, I looked at the other, the, 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 there's a lady passing by, so I want to take a shot of her, but I wasn't sure how to aim at her, what to do, I wasn't, you know, but then when she turned her face and I, I was ready, so uh, when I put my camera up to take a photo, the guy pointed at me and wow, that was, I said, this is, I nailed it. So he's telling her, uh, he's look, look, he's, he, he's taking a photo of you. But I missed one shot. He, she was looking at me because I was not ready for it. So uh, then the third shot, when she smiled, I knew they were talking about me or they said something. Uh, and that was just a moment, a beautiful moment. She's laughing, she's smiling while she's walking and you can see the story behind it. And that's what I'm talking about. Make a story behind everything you're going for. So I just want to tell you about when you take the photos or not to take the photos. Like this photo here, there's a shop, there's empty shop. There's not really storytelling about something but I took it purposely to engage in the street photography itself to show you 
what is happening. Like there's a cabbage there, but there's, the shop is empty. There's no, no one there. So it's not really much of to tell you a story about it, except it's a seller, yeah? And the other, the other photo I took is showing the street, how the community lives, as it, it, it's showing it is a community uh, place where uh, there's a lot of shops and they sell only for the surrounding area. Now with this one here, the lady, it's behind the counter, she's washing dishes or making something, but I'm guessing she's washing a di dish. Then there is, there she is, she's washing dishes. And so she can't start her day to start selling. And that's what is the storytelling. It's the person is doing something behind the counter. Well, you cannot see her face, only you can see her back. But she's doing something. Then I move to something else is showing her washing dishes, making sure everything is clean and right. The third one, this one, this photo here, if you look, it's, there is people there kind of discussing something and it, you, you're looking at every person and then it can tell you a story from one photo only and that is the core of the photo. Now, the style of, it's an Asian country, but I can tell you, I'm in Thailand. So it is, gives you that indication, it's an Asian country, uh, giving you an indication there is, that's how they buy things, that's how they go, and in, they do everything in, the, uh, in their business days. Now this, <coughs> the other one, here, the, 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 the motorbike, it's so old, it had it, it's got a history behind it, it's been used for so many years. But that, then you looking at it, ah oh yeah, well, what, what's that behind? It's a cage kind of. So that is what it was before, this motorbike had a cage before. And people, they, could put food on it or transportation and so on and gives you a story behind this bike it works so hard but now it's left alone and it's you know they, they, I don't know maybe 10 years or five years has been there so I couldn't find the honor to to ask him and and there's the other photo the second photo I took of the bike uh on 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 the to to, to the left of the side uh, I, I took it from the left hand side uh, of me and uh just kind of gives you the surrounding a bit then gives you how the the the, the bike it's gone rusted it's old cannot be used but it still is there kind of it's a history of whoever left it there This one, this one here, it's, you, it's very slow day for the food store to operate and look at the, the old lady, I can't say the old lady, but I would say the lady there, which is the senior and then the, there's the young person sitting there. It's, gives you the indication, oh yeah, it's very slow, but only one person's eating. So it gives you that, oh, not much a business poor thing. You kind of, you, you kind of feel the vibes of those people. They, you see, they can see me, I'm taking, you can see the owner's taking, is, uh, um, is, she can see me, I'm taking the photos. And it's okay. So 
after I took the photo, I, I kind of I shook my hand, thank you, thank you, and that was a nice suggestion from from me. Now, I moved along, and I saw this lady. She is. You know, maybe she's over 60, but I can see the hard life. It's really, it's really not that busy area, but she's sewing. There's a sewing machine there and so on. Uh, as I got closer to her, look at the eyes. These eyes will, when you're looking at them, will tell you a lot. And that is what the photography is. The still photographies tell you about the person. Look at the soul, look at the everything, the surrounding area. Uh, when I take a photo, when it's not portrait, is I show what is the surrounding on that place. So you can understand what is going on. So you can tell a story. That is a street photography. Tell a story. Now, with, 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 with this one here, look at these workers. Look at this old man of, uh, he got no teeth, but still he got the smile on his face. It's just remarkable. I, I was taken by when he smiled at me. I could not stop and not to aim my camera not to aim my camera towards him so I, I took straight away a photo he's looking at me directly and with a big smile and that was the most effective way of you know uh, just uh, for, for, for a photography uh, person who, who does all this kind of work it just gives you that Keep going, man. This is what you're looking for. That's why, as a street photographer, you need to get the uh, uh, expression of people, uh, what they do, what they feel, how is it. You know, this is what the core of the street photography. There I could uh, uh, move along it's there's the uh, this is this guy is a fauna uh, looks like he's an expat uh, and uh, he's comfortably driving his bike he's really uh, you know in, in in a comfort zone and he's just driving his bike it's it's a good thing it's just a photo of somebody there's not much of a story only a story is an expat is happy where he is and that's not bad story again now this one is very funny one this one is uh, the, uh, the uh, when, when, when oh, while I was walking and I looked at the dog I wasn't really um, take, uh, taking too much attention to it but then he barks at me so I look I see this small dog is barking at me so I, oh wow that's a nice one so I took a photo of him he's approaching me then the owner called him back and he stopped look yeah the second photo he stopped there he's looking at me can I back you back at you are you intruder uh, but it's just that kind of of a uh, nice photo for memory for me and that was a nice one Th then I, I moved to this guy he is really behind these all these fruits <clears throat> pardon me he's behind this fruit and he's kind of looking at me take a photo of me and I did look at the eyes I was shining look at the smile he's happy in his in his day so it's it's just a lovely thing to see and 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 just to approach those people to take a photo of them it's just it's marvelous it's, it's just uh, it, yeah, it gives you that look at the eyes look at the expression he is giving me and that's a good thing 
and that's where I was uh, <coughs> pardon me the best people to photograph is Thai people they just give you the opportunity to take a photo of them as a street photographer it's just so beautiful now I moved along with this lady she's sitting there doing nothing it just kind of looked at me oh yeah I'm ready she can see me with a camera I'm taking photos and so on I'm ready for you take I give you a smile too so this is what I'm look she's a happy person that's what I'm looking for there's a lot of things you can see she's a seller she's a local shop uh, she's waiting for somebody to sell to and so on but she's happy to give that smile to a photographer which is it's, it's just perfect for me now with this lady she's really into it she's washing her dishes it's a small restaurant was a small restaurant and all that but kind of I looked at first I looked at it I said ah oh, this was must be must be a uh, 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 I, I wasn't sure if I take the photo or not but I looked at it really completely oh, yes and then I bang it just straight away haunt me with with a black and white uh, old movies and I said yes this is what I'm looking for and bang I start shooting her and that was a good one and I was damn right you need to look at your subject what you can achieve from your subject like I said the street photography it's not only shooting a person or taking a photo of someone no it is telling a story behind it that's what you're looking at if you just take a photo of someone just bang it's not really if it's for a memory it's okay but if you really want to sell the photo if you're going for marketing and so on you need to tell a story look at the, the, the this one here the lady she's behind the counter she's a saleswoman she's the owner or whatsoever she's cutting she's doing something so you you, she's looking at you direct and that is the direct eyes looking at you it's a wow for me I took the photo of it tells me a story behind this lady with street photography you need when you take a photo it is it as a photographer I got my own story behind it but as a viewer you will have your own story and that is a damn good reason to take a photo now with these ones uh, 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 it's that the lady she's uh, somewhere around over 70 years old I guess and uh, she just stood there uh, but you know like with the, that uh, um, um, yeah okay take a photo of me uh, with that personality is a, a strong personality uh, I'm up to it I'm good at it good, you know so and you can see what she's surrounded with tell a story behind it that is a Thai person who is selling something who is over 70 years old looking direct to the camera it is the confident in it when I looked at the hero shop and I, I see there's a lot of you know colorful uh, this uh, the pan thing there's a lot of colors in there I could not resist so I took a photo it just liked it then I moved on to, to this one here I looked at the lady she's just busy with her phone not looking not worried so it, 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 she is in her own demeanor in her own space so there is it, there is a storytelling but again it's a story hidden in her head you cannot read it she's not looking at me directly she is in her own space but then look at the black and white photo I took of her son or uh, or you know whoever he is the young person she's not worried about them she's more worried about the phone and that is it gives you that it gives you that I took it in black and white and I made it a bit of cinematic 
uh, uh, cinematic surrounding it just gives you that uh, the, the not worried about the kids not worried about her life not worried about always she's worried about this gadget in between her hand and that's what you're looking for this one here uh, the, the lady she was sitting when she saw me she wants to actually move her hand I said no no no, no. stay the way you are so I had this uh, in my hand the photo to take oh this is a beautiful scene for a cinema it just gives you that the the, the surrounding is dark behind her but you know where she is and so on but the second one is kind of just a portrait and it's that's it so uh, the the cinematic one i done it just gives you that uh, that, that 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 picture of i'm looking i want to look what's behind it, behind her so there uh, the second photo this photo here i'm showing you you can see what's behind her like this video and i do more videos than only travel videos or you like photography videos to do i thank you very much i appreciate your time and i hope i will see you again thank you very much bye bye for now cheers bye now the last photo i will be talking about is the walking in the street and uh, you see this one there's a restaurant on the beach and there's uh, the restaurants is on the other side of the beach so this guy he's actually going walking from one end to another and crossing the road and so on to deliver his food to customers who are sitting on the beach and but i didn't do that i didn't take the beach and so on but just kind of showing the how this guy is crossing the road and you can see what is this is uh, the tray he's holding so it tells you behind it there is a tray there then the viewer will make their own why the tray uh, it's in his hand so the viewer will make their own mind what he is doing don't forget to watch my next video thank you bye bye